Summary of Assistant to the Villain, written by Hannah Nicole Mayer. Prologue. Evie's life took an unexpected turn the day she found herself standing before the villain, a figure notorious for his dark dealings in the enchanted realms. The air around Massacre Manor crackled with an otherworldly energy as the villain extended his gloved hand, a proposition hanging in the balance. The offer, though tempting, carried the weight of uncertainty and danger. The dilapidated state of Evie's finances, coupled with the impending revelation to her ailing father about losing her previous job, left her teetering on the precipice of acceptance. The villain, an enigmatic character with a reputation that sent shivers through the enchanted kingdoms, watched her with amusement dancing in his dark eyes. What kind of job are we talking about here? Evie inquired cautiously, her gaze fixed on the villain's outstretched hand. His lips curled into a sly smile. I need someone with your resourcefulness, someone to assist in acquiring unique items and navigating the complexities of our magical realms. A right hand, of sorts. Evie hesitated. Her mind a battleground of conflicting thoughts. The prospect of aligning herself with the villain seemed like willingly stepping into a perilous abyss. Yet, the desperate circumstances that pressed upon her nudged her toward accepting the offer. With a deep breath, she made her choice. Fine. But no hurting people, and absolutely no lady friend duties, she declared, shaking the villain's hand firmly. He chuckled, the sound sending shivers down her spine. Agreed. I have no interest in involving you in my more, violent endeavors. You'll be more of an accomplice in acquiring rare items and navigating the politics of our peculiar world. The pact sealed, Evie couldn't shake the feeling that she had just made a deal with the devil. A mix of trepidation and anticipation stirred within her as she contemplated the path ahead. Little did she know that her decision would plunge her into a world of magical intrigue, where danger and mystery awaited at every turn. In the days that followed, Evie became acquainted with the peculiarities of her new job. The villain, surprisingly organized and methodical, revealed secret passages within Massacre Manor, introduced her to enchanted creatures, and explained the delicate art of magical theft. Kingsley, the frog with a crown, turned out to be a pivotal part of the villain's plans possessing unique abilities that could aid them in their endeavors. As Evie adjusted to her unconventional role, she discovered hidden depths to the villain. His past, veiled in shadows and tragedy, hinted at a complexity that contradicted his infamous reputation. The dynamic between them evolved from employer and employee to an unusual partnership built on mutual respect and a shared goal. However, the enchanted kingdoms were not forgiving and their escapades drew the attention of powerful forces. Evie found herself entangled in a web of political intrigue, magical conflicts, and ancient secrets. The more she delved into this mystical world, the clearer it became that the villain's motives were more intricate than she could have imagined. In this unforeseen alliance, Evie embarked on a journey that challenged her perceptions, tested her resilience, and unveiled the enigma of the villain, a man whose darkness concealed not only malevolence, but a complex tapestry of motives and emotions. As the days turned into weeks, Evie's role expanded beyond that of a mere accomplice. The villain, despite his ominous reputation, exhibited a strange sense of honor and a commitment to a cause that transcended personal gain. Together, they navigated the intricacies of enchanted kingdoms, encountering mythical creatures and unraveling long-buried secrets. Yet, with every triumph, a new challenge emerged. The enchanted realms proved to be a volatile tapestry of alliances and betrayals, where trust was a fragile commodity. Evie found herself questioning not only the villain's motives, but also her own place in this world of magic and mayhem. As they delved deeper into the heart of the enchanted kingdoms, a looming threat cast its shadow over Massacre Manor. An ancient prophecy, whispered in hushed tones, hinted at a cataclysmic event that could reshape the very fabric of their reality. The villain, burdened by his past and the weight of his own destiny, confided in Evie, revealing vulnerabilities that belied his fearsome exterior. Their journey took them through mystical landscapes, from the ethereal glittering glades to the treacherous shadowed peaks. Each step brought them closer to the truth, yet the mysteries of the enchanted realms seemed to multiply with every revelation. 
Evie, once a reluctant accomplice, now found herself at the epicenter of a cosmic struggle that transcended the boundaries of good and evil. The villain, too, underwent a transformation in Evie's eyes. His actions, once perceived as malevolent, now appeared driven by a desperate desire to defy a destiny he never chose. As their alliance deepened, Evie grappled with the realization that the line between hero and villain was not as defined as the enchanted realms would have her believe. In the midst of magical battles and political intrigues, a bond forged in the crucible of adversity grew between Evie and the villain. Their journey became a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the capacity for change, even in the most unlikely of hearts. Together, they faced the looming threat foretold by the ancient prophecy. Standing on the precipice of a destiny that would either shatter the enchanted realms or usher in a new era of balance. As the final confrontation loomed, Evie found herself at the crossroads of her own destiny. The choices she made would not only shape the fate of the enchanted kingdoms, but also define the legacy of the villain, a man whose true nature remained as elusive as the magic that coursed through their world. In the end, as the threads of their journey wove into a tapestry of destiny, Evie realized that sometimes the most unexpected alliances could unravel the deepest mysteries and challenge the very fabric of reality. The enchanted realms, once a realm of danger and uncertainty, became a canvas upon which the transformative power of choice and compassion painted a story of redemption and renewal. And so, with the echoes of their journey resonating through the enchanted realms, Evie and the villain stood together, facing a future that held the promise of magic, mystery, and the enduring possibility of change. Chapter 2 Evie Sage, an unsuspecting optimist with a penchant for maintaining a positive outlook in the face of the macabre, treaded the chilling corridors of the villain's imposing castle. As the personal assistant to this enigmatic character, her daily routine was far from conventional, marked by severed heads hanging ominously from the ceiling and the occasional dead body adorning her desk. Yet, Evie's unique resilience and nonchalant demeanor in the midst of such horrors set her apart making her a curious protagonist in this dark tale. The narrative unfolded against the backdrop of the villain's castle, a gloomy structure resonating with an eerie aura. Evie, however, had grown accustomed to its grim atmosphere. The macabre scenes, like the severed heads, were, for her, part of the routine and oddity she had shockingly normalized in the time she had spent working in the villainous lair. Intriguingly, signs of failed villainous plans began to pepper her daily experiences, indicating that the villain was in a particularly foul mood. The number of severed heads hanging became a peculiar barometer for the success or failure of his sinister schemes. This ominous detail added an element of tension to the narrative, as Evie grappled with the implications of her employer's escalating frustration. Amidst the grotesque imagery, the narrative humorously explored the absurdity of Evie's job, envisioning an employment posting that demanded not only organizational skills and late-night work, but also a peculiar comfort with arson, torture, and murder. This juxtaposition of the mundane and the horrific set a tone that seamlessly blended dark humor with the surreal. Evie's internal monologue provided insights into her psyche, revealing a desensitization to the grotesque horrors she encountered. The need for normalcy, a mantra inherited from her mother, became a guiding principle. Despite the surreal nature of her workplace, Evie's commitment to maintaining a semblance of normality reflected a deeply ingrained aspect of her character. The narrative delved into the genesis of Evie's employment. Recounting a peculiar initiation involving a murdered man sprawled across her desk. Evie's composed reaction and her witty response to the villain's test revealed her adaptability and a sense of humor that she would carry throughout her unconventional employment. The villain's apparent approval, evident in his subtle nod, laid the foundation for the unique dynamic between the personal assistant and her ominous boss. The story provided glimpses into the villain's multifaceted character, challenging the stereotypical image of a malevolent force. Despite his sinister exterior, he adhered to a set of moral guidelines that surprised Edie. The revelation of his commitment to avoiding harm to innocence added complexity to his character hinting at a more nuanced personality beneath the veneer of villainy. Evie's personal life was shrouded in secrecy, with lies told to her ailing father and sister about her mysterious whereabouts. 
The scars on her shoulder, remnants of a magical dagger, added a layer of intrigue, hinting at a past she was determined to conceal. The contrast between her past life as a village blacksmith's assistant and her current role in a villain's lair underscored the drastic shift in her circumstances. As the narrative unfolded, Evie's interactions with her co-workers, particularly Rebecca Ehring, provided moments of tension and humor. The dynamics within the villainous workplace, marked by the clash of personalities and the pursuit of recognition, added layers to the story. The presence of administrative professionals, each navigating the challenges of their unique roles, contributed to the rich tapestry of characters populating the villain's lair. The story took an unexpected turn when disruptions emanated from the villain's office, shaking the castle's walls. Evie, caught off guard, found herself on the floor, paper scattered around her. The vivid description of the villain's imposing presence and Evie's internal struggle to resist being captivated by his attractiveness introduced a subtle romantic tension to the narrative. As Evie settled into her daily ledger balancing routine, the disturbance from the villain's office heightened the suspense. The narrative left readers eager to unravel the mysteries surrounding Evie, the villain, and the bizarre yet oddly endearing world they inhabited. Evie's blend of optimism, resilience, and humor provided a unique lens through which to explore the darker aspects of her peculiar workplace, promising a captivating journey into the heart of villainy with unexpected twists and turns.